Hello everyone, it's Jackie and I wanted to share with you a quick video today. I have some friends who have recently lost their dog and I thought I'd make them a, a little card for them and I thought well as long as I'm making it I might as well share it and I actually meant to put this video on my general Facebook business page, but for some reason I can't get it to work. So I'm going to do it here and then save it and then publish it there later. But anyway, just a couple things before we start crafting. Just a reminder, we have, I have these events coming up. The, this Saturday, the Tauranga Extravaganza. Now, extravaganzas are uh, like basically large classes where we have multiple teachers and you're doing four or five projects and it's just uh, a nice afternoon or day out. Now, the Tauranga Extravaganza, um, we're pretty full. We could probably fit in one or two more people. Then the Sunday, 15th of March, we have the Hamilton Extravaganza. And that one, we've actually hit our capacity. But if you uh, want to book in, I can put you on a wait list because we generally do have one or two people who say they can't make it because of various reasons. Or, and or the teachers may be willing to make one or two extra kits. Uh, we're not actually like full, like the room isn't full, but you know, at some point we have to say, okay, here's our numbers. Let's prepare these kits. And, and then, you know, if there's no kits prepared, then we can't fit in more people than that. So it's best to book in as early as possible to these events. And then next weekend on Sunday, this time it's 22nd of March, the Auckland extravaganza, and we still have seats for that one so you're welcome to book in and then you can book in by messaging me go to this link and or if you want to see some what other classes are going on then come go to this link as well and then just a little reminder that it is celebration time and we have had some new gifts released so all of these gifts on these two pages here are free so they're not for purchase but uh, you need to spend $110 and then you can pick out any of the level one gifts. And then if you spend $220, then you can pick out a level two or a couple of the level ones. And then you can earn as many as your order qualifies for. So that just goes till the end of March. So it's a great time if you had some of the more expensive dies or the Stamparatus or any of the bigger things on your list to get those while you get free stamp sets and papers and embellishments and kits and stuff along with it. All right, so let's make a card. So I am want to use, you can't really see that, the little doggy punch that's paired with the Happy Tales stamp set. Of course, this is perfect for someone who has just lost their dog. He had a great life, but you know, these things are never, never good. So this is the card that I've made for them. So I want to recreate that with you. It's just very straightforward and simple, but sometimes, especially sympathy cards, you need to have st something that you can just uh, do quickly. Um, so we're going to start with an A5 piece of whis th thick whisper white, and that's just folded in half. So I've written up there, you need an A5 of thick whisper white. And then I have a five and five eighth by three and seven eighth piece of soft suede cardstock, and then a five and a half by three and three fourth inch um, of the Come Sail Away designer series paper. And of course, you can mix this up, but I thought the newsprint was kind of, you know, along with that puppy dog theme. I'm just going to scoot my camera up. I see that it's starting to sag just a little bit. All right, so just to be really efficient with our cardstock, I'm gonna punch my puppy right out of this mat. So we're gonna set him aside. With the newsprint, I'm actually just gonna crinkle that up. And of course, you don't have to do this if you're not you know, totally happy with crinkling up cardstock. I know a lot of people feel it's a little strange to do that to perfectly good cardstock, but if you kind of like that crinkly newsprint look, then, then that's how you would achieve it. And just to use a little adhesive, flatten that back out, and we're just gonna put it back on or onto the uh, soft suede piece, like so. Got that just a little 
off. The other thing about when, if it's wrinkled, you can kind of uh, manipulate it a little bit. Okay. So like so, and then I'm going to use a little piece of the uh, ribbon. I mean, sorry, denim ribbon. And just cut off about, let's say that's probably about six inches or so. And just tape that around the back. My rule of thumb is never use wet glue. Not that there's any sort of dry glue as far as I know, but never use anything wet on your ribbon because it just isn't going to dry and it will probably just cause aggravation. Okay, and then I'm going to use dimensionals on the back of this and go ahead and put that on our card front. put that on there all right then we'll just add our little puppy so I have used uh, the dye from the I pulled it out here from the painted poppies so everyone well most everyone loves this painted poppies stamp set but they're a little bit unsure about these dyes so this is one of those dyes this one here and it's actually quite a great little uh, little frame or little label and I'm going to stamp the so sorry for your loss right on that circle kind of up in the upper left hand side about like so in memento black and we'll go ahead and put that onto the card sorry my tape is actually shaking the camera I just saw okay so we'll put that about there and then we will go ahead and tie a bow. So I've taken a completely separate piece of the denim ribbon and I'm gonna slip that underneath that existing ribbon and just tie a bow. And there's no, uh, well, I have found, there's no like certain way to tie a bow. Just however you tie a bow is probably fine. Unless, it's just not working, then maybe it's time to learn a new way. And then just trim those ends so they're about the length you want. Okay, so something like that. Very cute already. Now, this these particular friends, their dog was brown and had black, a black nose and black feet. So I'm going to grab that memento back out and a little sponge. I'm just going to get it so it's a little bit there and just gonna sponge a little bit of black on the nose and on the little feet maybe a little on the tail I don't remember if he had black on his tail or not okay then I'm gonna take the trim from the come sail away suite so it's the trim that goes with these papers and just tie a little bit of that trim around around the dog so he's got a little bit of a collar okay and you can leave it I just tied it in a double knot because there's a bow right there so I thought if there was a bow on the dog it might be a little too much too many bows plus their dog was a boy and then I'm just gonna fray those ends and kind of have it like that okay that may not be exactly correct I've never owned a dog myself but you get the, the look of look I'm trying to achieve okay and then we're just gonna put him up on your circle wh wherever you think looks good whether he's kind of hanging off a little bit or just sitting right on the edge wherever you like it. Now this punch also has a little heart on it, which if you've done classes with me, you know I really like, like the hearts because generally if we're making something for somebody, it's because we care about them. And then I'm just gonna add a little red heart onto our puppy and a little pearl. 
sorry, I should have taken those out of the bag. Just a little pearl. Now you can leave the pearl white, or I've taken one of the, the soft suede Stampin' Blends and just, just browned it up just a little bit. So it wasn't, one, wasn't quite so white, but either one works because there is white in the card. Okay, then inside, they have these wonderful sayings in um, this stamp set. A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart, which is just so nice and suitable for, for a dog person or a cat person. And then I just cut out an extra red heart. We'll put that on there. All right, so that is our very quick and simple card. Now, of course, you can take this template and mix it up. You could put a cat there or something else, but hopefully you can get some use out of that. So thanks for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.